got you, Tim. I'm gonna preheat a little bit, make sure I don't have any oil coming back in. Yes, sir, I did get it pulled out. It didn't take quite as long as I expected, so I'm gonna try and get a repair that'll maybe last a year, maybe two this time. Hello from Texas. I'm trying to heat this while I'm reading comments. I don't know if that's a good idea. I might burn, the, might burn something up here in a minute. But. I don't guess you could find better entertainment on a Sunday night. You guys are nuts. That's all I can say. The cylinder still has oil inside of it, but at least it's not down on top of me. Hey, I got somebody that says they got faith in me. I'm glad you guys are showing up. This is a this this wasn't a planned deal, believe me. This is not planned at all. So you're getting uh you're getting a little taste of what I do sometimes before the next day of work. This thing has to get together tonight. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna have to call the guy I'm working for and, and tell him what I don't wanna have to tell him because he will be very upset if I say I can't be there. They got a crew waiting on the footings to be dug. And uh, so, Help me, Jesus. That's all I can say. Okay, we're going to give this a go. I've got to get, get comfortable first. Let's see if we can get a bead laid down here. We're either going to document a success or a failure. But I got faith it's going to work out. Well, the slag fell off. Am I running too hot, Tim? Looking real good, he says. Do a little deep, deep buffing here. Get my plug in. Is this uh, camera angle working for you? I kind of like this rod. I think I, I think I can get along with it okay. I had a little bump there. This thing's not turning quite as easy as it, it would be nice to turn a little bit. That might be better. I jacked it up a little bit. Looking pretty good to me from this from this side. Plant. I'm going to stop here a minute and I want to hear from Tim. What do you think, buddy? This is what we're... 
that's not really a pinhole there I thought it was at first it's just kind of a little divot I might need to grind that a little bit I'm not real happy with how I started here but did I uncork the rod um, there's no plug in this side over here whoop there's no there's no way it can build pressure I've got uh, I put the cap in this side but it came out of this side if that makes any sense so this ends open the other ends open so we shouldn't have any pressure build up uh, think we got it pretty dry I used a torch and heated it and you could see the oil burn out of that crack so I'm glad I pulled it off the tractor I think it's gonna be a better repair I hope it's good I guess my question is should I be uh, grinding out the whole weld so I'm on a fire up stick number two here shaky. I don't know why. I guess I'm nervous to be on YouTube. Oh, crap. That ain't good. I don't see any did any negatives yet. Um, I think I was going a little fast on the first one. I kind of like the looks of this one a little bit better. back out to the factory weld here. I'm going to grind a little bit more of it off because I don't really like where I stopped. And I want to see if I can't make sure we're not doing crack here.
Okay, I'm gonna preheat that and just look at it, see if it's got oil coming out of a crack. Sorry about that, my clamp, my my stand here's a. Uh, well, there's to, there's 22 people and it's 23 now that don't have nothing better to do but watch this. How about that? seeing any oil so I think we may have got through I don't see a crack here so we might have got past it a part of me says I probably should grind the rest of that weld off and just re-weld it that's what I don't know I guess my, uh, I'm not seeing any oil coming up now, so I think I got all the oil burned out of the crack, hopefully. I don't know, cancel that. I've got an old leather sleeve over here that we could probably put on there. Um, I guess I'm trying to decide if I want to put stringers on it or not. Widen it out, it's not real wide. If y'all don't know, uh, his name is TDE. J80 on YouTube, but his name is Tim, and he sent me these gloves. He sent me this welding rod. He sent me three boxes of, of different kinds of rod, and I called him the other day and asked him about this repair, and he said, that 309, I think it'd be perfect. And uh, I just wanna say, I don't know how he knew I needed it, but he did. He sent it to me, and I got it, and we're gonna make good use of it. It, this a stainless rod's a little different. It, it's standing up a lot taller. I don't know if I'm not whipping the rod enough. I don't know if my heat's a little too cold. I don't want to get this cylinder too hot though. Um, <laughs> tough F350 don't have a crash. Don't forget to bend the rod a little. God wanted him to send me that rod and I believe it. Um, Okay, Tim, should I, should I grind this down and put stringer on each side of it? Is that what you would do? I'm glad you can hear the SA200. It's, it's outside, but I've got the door open. Let some breeze through here so I'm not in the smoke. Uh, my, my battery may die again. I don't guess I've got a good to charge it. it. won't reach my charger. Okay, what's the what's the verdict? Should I uh, should I put should I widen this weld out? as wide as the factory which means I need to run a bead on each side of it 
Is that good? Would that be a good idea or a bad idea? So no more. Tim says no more, no. It will make a stress riser. More is not always better. It's cooled off pretty much. I mean, it's, I probably should have. I mean, the cylinder's not that hot. I put my thumb right on the wheel. So we're not super hot, which is a good thing, I think. The weld is pretty bumpy. I just don't know. I guess I just don't know if I trust it enough to put it back on the tractor. <laughs> Let me do a little buffing on it. got to practice my starts and stops with this stainless stuff. This is different. Um, I'll get you a little closer view here before my battery dies. So Tim says if I if I do Keep the stringer small and flow both into both sides real smooth. So I need to grind the top off that weld is what I'm hearing. It's it's pretty tall. But if you can see it's I think we're tied in pretty good. I'm not seeing anything that looks perforated or it's just bumpy. Not a real pretty weld. But like I say, this cylinder's not hot at all. I can put my thumb right on that weld, so. It's hot, it's, it's a little hotter out here on the end. So I don't think we burned anything up. Um, if I knock the top off of this, I think I wanna put a stringer on each side of it. And I'm gonna try to this, I may blow it up. I don't know, but I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try to do it. Do a little more to it to make it. I, I just. I just don't know that I trust it right now. Bump the amps up ten on the welder. I know it ain't easy. It's definitely not easy. But hey, the rod got here somehow.
don't know if it's a good idea or not. I don't want to grind it all off of there just yet. Take off flat, okay. All right, I'm used to trying to take off uphill. I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to start out as flat as possible here. Well, the guys have been asking for welding video. Here you go, you're getting to watch a rookie. First time on making 309 rod. This is 332 rod. I like the way it ties in. It, it's real solid. I mean, it's it's not, I'm not seeing any porosity. Yeah, I think it's a really, probably a really easy rod to master once you get through a box or two of it. Make sure I can position here. I'm going to start off flat, like Kim said. I don't know how this is going to work. I think I'm going to try to do just a small loop on each side and I'll probably end up getting off course. I didn't turn it up, did I? That gummy. I didn't listen, did I, Tim? Yes, sir, Frank, we are having a fun Sunday evening. I'm, I'm taking welding lessons on YouTube. And it's, uh, it might get me back together tomorrow. I don't know. We're going to try. better the first time I'll dig tomorrow it might be leaking but I'll dig tomorrow it'll go it'll go back on and we'll get the JB weld out 
Knock that crater down. What's that mean? All right. Well, trying to keep it from cooling too fast. It's not that cold out here. It's only about 50 degrees. It's really not too bad. That looks a little better, doesn't it? Do you think that's any better? Well, I'm gonna... I like the looks of that little lot better than that first one. I'm gonna grind it. Uh, I'm gonna leave that there, but I'm gonna grind this the rest of this one off. And uh, I'm not gonna take it down as deep as I did the first, first one. I'm just gonna knock the top off of it. We're getting there. Uh, SA sounds real good. I just got to thinking I hope it don't run out of gas because I don't know that I got any extra. <laughs> That'd be bad if I had to run to town and I to finish this job and get gas. It's 10 miles to a gas station for those of you, you that don't know where I live. Um, well, there's one that's seven, seven miles, but they're too expensive. So we try to keep stocked up on that stuff but I need to get some gas okay I like that a lot better for some reason I got a little bit I'm, I have trouble keeping the straight I don't know. I, I, I can't drive straight with a stick. I can't drive straight with any kind of. I can dig a straight line. I cannot weld one. Okay.
back here to the comments. What's going on, guys? Not leaving low craters, knock them down. We are not real worried about it. It's got such a thick end cap on here that's taking that heat real well, I think. Plus, if I was to weld a half inch at a time, I'd probably have a leak every half inch. Something like that. Are you still at the office, Eric? And if you are, why are you watching YouTube? An auto dark helmet for Christmas. I got an auto dark helmet, but it, I just. <laughs> not going to be a pretty well, but I think it's going to be a pretty sound weld. We'll find out when we put it on the tractor and we put 5,000 pounds of pressure on it. We'll see if it leaks. I forgot to let that one cool off slow. I'll screw this up somehow before the night's over. Strong first, pretty second. Keeps the job done well. I guess that's true. If it don't leak oil, it'll be great. Eric didn't answer me. Why are you watching YouTube at the... Hey, Dirty Doug, you watching this too? We got Frank watching. I don't know what I've been missing on the comments. You guys are going to have to fill me in, but. Eric's, Eric's welding hood, I'm not sure I want it because it has a knob on the side of it and every time he goes to bump his. She's a little warm now. Looks like a drunk person welded that, and I promise you, I'm not drunk. That's it's not very pretty. I don't know if this should be on YouTube. I'm ashamed of it. <laughs> Eric gave up on paperwork and came. It's because he's watching YouTube too much. You can't do paperwork while you're watching YouTube. Well. I think I'm done with it. I mean, I don't know what else to do with it. it it's either gonna work or it's not. I really like the way the rod is laying into the steel. It, it's, there's no porosity, there's no the voids. It really seems like it's, it's gonna be a solid weld. I've never welded with anything quite like this rod. Um, I think the Lincoln's about to run out of gas. That'd be funny if it did, because I think I'm done. I, I really think I'm done.
Eric has a project that needs to go to Tim's house. I don't think it needs to go to my house. He's He's got a 5.9 that's got a hole, a crack down the side of the block. I think it's a water jacket. Thank you for the comment of nice job. I don't know if it's a nice job yet. I think it's it's really crappy looking. But if it works, that's what's important. Ready for paint. I don't know if I'm going to paint it. I don't know if, you know. I got some though. I guess I could shoot some on there. Oh goodness. It's been a long day already. I still got to put it back on the tractor and see if it leaks. Well, I was thinking about doing another shop live stream. Grinder and paint makes a welder what he ain't. I agree with that, but I ain't grinding none of that off there. It's too tough. Dollar per welding rod, good lord. Eric's got a lot of money though. I told him we should braze it with oxycetylene brass rod. That's how I'd like to fix it if I do it. I don't know that that's how I'm gonna do it, but. I think I'm going to shut the Lincoln down. I'm going to look at it one more time, make sure this... I think it's tied in pretty good, though. It's going to have to do for a day. No, Debbie, I sure wish I had a sandblasting cabinet. That would be nice. I did get a sandblaster for a pressure washer and it works pretty good. Brass won't work, bronze would be okay. That's good to know. I told him JB Weld would probably be his best way to go. You got that crane running yet, Frank? Or that, that front shovel, I mean? It cost you more than $200 for me to weld your block, Eric. It's a dollar per rod. That's, that's gonna be like, I'll probably have to practice with 10. <laughs> well, that's good you've been working. Ah. Uh, this, I don't know. I hope this works. And it's only taken 41 minutes. I started this live stream when I started the first weld. That's not too bad. I think it took me an hour to get the cylinders off. Frank says he's sure I got it fixed. Tim says it's gonna work. Who wants to put money on this repair? That's that's what I'm after. You guys wanna put money on it? <laughs> Twenty dollars says it'll work. Debbie's gonna bet with Frank's money. That's a pretty safe bet right there. I don't blame you. The best thing about the magic of uh, YouTube is I could make a video that showed that it worked just fine. <laughs> Twenty 
What's the time? What do you mean, what's the time? For a week. Oh, for how long will it work? Frank already spent all his money on the shovel. Well, we can bet a shovel. Hey, there you go. Can we put the shovel up on this bet? <laughs> if I had a spare cylinder, this thing would be in the mail and it would be on its way to Ohio to Tim's house. Oh, we can't, we can't. I, I guess Frank don't trust me that much. <clears throat> or maybe, maybe I got the bet wrong. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put up my link belt 51 against your uh, shovel, Frank. Airco, yeah, we can bet an Airco. We got one of those sitting out here in the shed. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's still pretty warm. I'm gonna go turn the pipe liner off. You guys sit here and watch this, okay? It didn't go anywhere, I guess. The Airco has um, some kind of issues. We don't know if it's timing. I think there's, I think there's possibility it's got the wrong camshaft in it. I need to get it in the shop, and that's something I want to get in here one of these days and try to work on. Um, I don't know when I'll get time to do that. I tell you what, right now I got my outrigger seals on this backhoe. Um, they were leaking a little bit at the end of last winter and then they quit over the summer. And now they're leaking, but this cold weather just makes things leak like this cylinder. That's what I blame it on. It's not my welding, it's the cylinder and the cold. Um, Jeremy Rob, you're gonna have to go back and rewatch this. We welded up uh, a cylinder, but it's, it's kind of ugly. That's why we got it under here. It's ugly. Um, but anyway, I've got to uh, replace both of the packings on the stabilizer cylinders, and I've got a loader bucket cylinder is, is, uh, is leaking. So, yes, wrong t the wrong cam would be timing issues. I agree with that. I, that old welder, though, I think it could have to do with maybe somebody did a, a really crappy valve job on it or something like that. That weld will not rust, will it? It don't need paint. It's stainless steel. How about that? Um, that's, that's a good point. We ain't got to worry about that. I can't believe Frank's still on here watching YouTube. Ain't you supposed to be in bed by now? It's kind of getting late over in Pennsylvania, isn't it? Metal etch in the container I'm using. This uh, bottle of stuff here is paint thinner. I just kind of washed the cylinder off with it. Cap that tube rods or drawing moisture? Yes, sir. Got the lid right here. I'm thinking I might want to keep them in the house. <laughs> I know they're probably not real cheap. So, how long should I let this cool off till it's cool enough to touch? No, you're not being rude. You, 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 you're you're being helpful. No, no. Uh, I need somebody to tell me what I'm doing out here once in a while. I'm out here by myself too much. 
cool it until I can touch it. It's still pretty hot. I'm gonna let her cool some more. Anyway, I can show you what, uh, I don't know if I can, I hope my battery don't go dead on my phone. Then you will have to go find something else to watch. If I'd have had time today, I would have washed this off before I got in here, but I'm gonna have to do a little cleaning on this. Um, it's got 9,000 hours. It's not like I'm gonna, <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna make it loose by getting a little bit of dirt in the, in the bushings. It was probably more stressful for you guys watching than it was me, I don't know. But I probably ought to sit down and rest a little bit. Um, my shop's mess as usual. I got too much junk out here. I got a TV I need to probably throw in the trash. I was going to try to fix it, but I don't know if it's worth fixing. A bucket of lime's a good idea. I've never heard of that for cooling parts, little parts off. Just throw them in a bucket of lime. That's a chain. Don't trust cylinder legs. That's probably good advice. I've got some jacks. I'll put one under there. Um... Play sand works for cooling off parts slow. I'd never, I've never heard of that, I guess. I'm learning all kinds of stuff today. Some of these lessons, um, oh, you want me to show the table? Well, the shop's a mess, okay, guys? I've been, I've been working on this table for my wife here. Um, Eric, kind of help me figure out what kind of wood and these little spots here these are knot holes that i filled in with epoxy i probably should have did that before i stained it but i didn't so this is uh gonna be our dining room table uh, project i got in a barn that's why the back goes halfway out the door and then here's the legs for the table my wife wanted some pipe legs so I come up with this design for um, building those. Anyway, that's, uh, that's a project I need to get done. This is one that's important. Well, the knots, the knots do give it character, but what I'm shooting for is so they're clear. I don't like to put wood filler in them. I'm trying to keep them where they're just kind of a clear uh not but uh anyhow there's i think it's gonna turn out real nice i kind of like it eric does give our table plenty of character when he's over that's all you need for character is eric yeah what kind of resin what's what's a what's a good resin to use for doing i don't know a lot about that stuff too that's pretty funny. I, I thought I might get Frank in trouble. I might get him a new project. She puts up with you hauling these cranes and stuff home. I mean, um, what I did is I mixed up two-part five-minute epoxy and poured in the hole, so I don't know. Eric was trying to get me to distress it and make it look like it had been beaten up and and uh like an old piece of wood but we we didn't do that so you can just use art resin is it a two-part or you just pour it in there that sounds easier than the epoxy stuff i'm thinking that might be the way i'd do it next time if there is a next time it's two-part okay um What I did with, well, I don't know what I did with that board, Eric, distressed, but anyway.
The problem I have with the epoxy is that if you get it too thick, it kind of bubbles on you. So it, it doesn't really stay that clear, but I'll have to try that next time if I get another project like it. But about every two or three years, she talks me into building her something out of wood. I'm not really a carpenter. I'm not really a, well, I don't know what you would say. I, I, <clears throat> I tell people I'm too broke to hire professionals and I'm too stupid to say no. And I, I think that's kind of where I'm at. Um, when my wife wants something and she thinks I can build it, I attempt it. So There's another guy named Frank here that hates working with wood too. I, I agree. It's, it's not my favorite. I'd rather work with metal. I'd rather work with dirt. Matter of fact, I, I prefer the dirt. It pays better when your machine ain't broke. Happy wife, happy life, that's a fact. <laughs> um, my wife's a good girl. I, I can't say she's, she doesn't nag, but she does suggest. They have a way of getting what they need or want. All around hand, yeah, kinda jack of all trades and master of nothing. I guess I don't get bored that way, right? Always something different. Um, so anyway, I guess that cylinder still pretty darn hot. Yeah, she she puts up with my hours. That's a fact. She uh, has done a good job raising my kids too. So. She's worth she's worth spending some time on. Matter of fact, I probably don't spend near enough on her, but those nagging starts after two suggestions. Well see, I knew there was some type of a, I knew there was there's different people are different, but I, I know at some point it comes it, it becomes more than just a suggestion, so <clears throat> set the camera back down here a minute my leather's falling off I probably go get a bucket of water and pour on it right might get some people upset Hey, I tried to get, I was going to build welded pipe le or welded legs out of square tubing and my wife got this notion she liked pipe fittings. I tell you what, I hadn't bought pipe fittings in a long time. Those dudes are expensive. That costs more than the wood on the top of that table. So I'll, I'm going to have a little, I may throw together a short video of, I don't have a lot of footage on building the table, but I might throw it out there so when I get it done. It's 140 degrees right now. Frank, thanks for watching. I'll be back in the dirt tomorrow. It might be oily dirt, but I'll be back in it. I don't guess I've seen a pottery barn table, I, but I guess that's what she's, that's kind of what she's looking for. 140, safe to remove. Yeah, my, my laser says it's, uh, or my, the end of that, Barrel is hotter than the weld. It's holding all the heat in the end of it there, so. Good night, Frank. Thanks for watching. I may throw up a uh, community feed tomorrow, 
show you yay or nay whether I'm working. So I don't know how we're going to do the bets and all that stuff. I guess you can work it out. Anyway. Yeah, the, at the temperature on the barrel over here is 90. Well, no, it's 100. And, well, that's about 95 right there. The weld itself is 86, 84, and the end out here is hotter. So that pulled all the heat off of that barrel. I don't think we're going to have any issues with chrome or anything like that. And this, the best part is this ugly weld goes under there where you can't see it. So, thirty-two people watching. If I can get twenty-five of you to say yes, I'll let you watch me put this back on. But you got to comment. I got to get twenty-five people to comment yes. I want to watch you put this back together. Or I'm gonna just shut the feed down, put it together, and you won't you won't get to see any of the cussing or the head banging or any of that stuff. That's the deal. I got two yeses. You got twenty three to go. I hope you put it on wrong well, I'm not negative. I think it's gonna work. Um I got yes, another yes. If your phone, I got my phone plugged in here. I don't have 25 yet. I might be asking too much. Maybe you don't want to tell me who you are and who you're watching. Just give me 25 thumbs ups and we'll do it. How about that? Can you guys do that? All right, I'll hold you up here closer at weld. Got 16 thumbs up. I need 25 thumbs up and I'll let this run. Well, it's kind of bumpy. I don't like the looks of it. I, I mean, I, I don't like the shape of it. I like the looks of it though. I think it's pretty solid. What do you think, Mr. Tim? 19 thumbs ups, we're almost there. Uh, you gotta do better than that i'm fixing to put it together i got 21 come on guys it's nailed in i'm fine all right i hope so it's ugly but i'm gonna say it's a good weld i, I i'm not gonna say it's a bad weld it's just an ugly weld so if you guys want to watch me put this together i need three more thumbs ups you don't have to tell me who you are. I don't know how I'm going to get this camera to... What the hell's that, Eric? That's not a thumbs up. Some kind of gang sign or something. Ah. Had to figure out how to find the thumb. Well, got three more to go. Got 37 people watching for some reason. I don't know why. Twenty-three thumbs ups. I'll let you have it. Good gosh. All right. I'm not gonna be able to see any of your comments. Hey, I got 24. One more. I'm not going to be able to see your comments, so talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going to go back to work here and put this thing together. Hopefully.
Okay, before I do this, today is February, so I don't want to see me put it together wrong once. I'm going to pull this plug out before I forget. It goes on the other side. And it's easier to do this. I pulled the O-ring off so it wouldn't get burnt. The reason you could I couldn't drain this cylinder and it, it's hard to explain. But the reason I couldn't drain it on the tractor is um, there's a port here and a port on the other side just like it. So you can reverse the cylinder and use it on either side. And the reason I, I couldn't drain it is the oil comes in here and then it goes straight in the end of the piston. I mean goes in this way and then straight in so it was holding i don't know how much oil is still in there so that's why i couldn't really get a good weld on it on the uh burzo project let me i'll show him he's in romania we use a red baron 309 332 or 2.4 millimeter probably where you're at that's a very good stainless steel rod. But it didn't end up taking me that long to put or pull that cylinder off. I seemed like last time I did it, it took longer. I don't know why. Probably because I wasn't in this big of a hurry. Get it done. Fun thing about backhoes is grease. That's the best part about a backhoe right here. It gets everywhere, it gets all over you all the time. But they don't live very well without it. I still only got 24 likes and I'm putting this together on live stream. Come on, guys. We can do better than this, right? I just had to check. Okay. I think I'm ready to pick it up and put it back there. It's not right.
I don't know if anybody's down to 25. One piece at a time. Oh, goodness. Okay. Just about got to see me Let's see here.
we need popcorn. I can't believe anybody would uh I don't Hey you hear the coyotes? I can't believe anybody's watching this. There's got to be a lack of entertainment on good TV shows or something. Um Torque spec is one and a half grunts. I did two grunts, I think. Somebody tell me I'm supposed to be under here somewhere. We should bet now 
Any takers, we can pull it all back apart. I am probably due to change a filter. Who wants to watch me weld it again? Anybody? We got any takers? I did finally get 26 likes here. Did I lose everybody? I thought somebody would be interested to know if it's leaking, if it's leaking or not. Is it, you think it's leaking? Hey, Roxy. Did you get the coyotes? Sammy? I think I lost everybody. Says you're watching. You must have all fell asleep. I'm sorry that was so boring. Uh, I still got a bunch of little bolts and stuff put together on there. It looks like it's gonna hold. In case you're wondering, it I, when I swing it over to the side, 
and give it full full pressure. Um, it didn't leak. No, it didn't. Eric's got an Airco riding on this. I thought you gave that to me. Are you trying to win it back? I guess that's what he's up to. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, I'm sorry I didn't put jack stands under there. Um, I live in that backhoe just about every day. It, I've never had a failure like it drop the backhoe. I mean, it, it could happen. I'm not saying it couldn't. Um, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to get you worked up a little bit. Uh, you guys are just, you know, I, I was going to say, well, I got to pull it off here and weld it again, but I think we're good to go. Um, time will tell how long it lasts. I mean, it might last <clears throat> until uh, the factory weld starts leaking. I did have tires under it. Yeah, if you pull a tire off one, it's a really good idea to have a jack stand because it's still a little ways off the ground, so... Still trying to figure out how to comment. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the live stream's a little different. It should be over on the right hand side if you're on a computer, I think. Um, if you're on your phone, it's down at the bottom. There's a little, uh, looks like a little word box or whatever, like they put on cartoons. So, but anyhow, I'm gonna finish up some minor stuff here. I am not running for president. Um, thank you guys. No leaks. I, I I don't see any leaks yet. We'll see how we'll see how things go. One of the problems <clears throat> one of the problems I run into on digging footings all the time, and I'm just explaining this to you, is a lot of the engineers will they'll engineer an 18 inch ditch plus two inches of insulation. So in order to do that, you're always riding the side of the ditch or, or scratching the side of the ditch. So you've always got to have a little side pressure on there and it stresses these things out, uh, especially after 9,300 hours or whatever we got on it. Um, this is the second time I've done this repair. The Actually, it's the third. The first time I did it, I did it on the tractor. That's a bad idea. Don't do that. Pull it off, get it dry, and grind it out, do it right. I, I do need to probably get my uh, my special teeth out. I got really good teeth on right now, so I won't be changing them on that bucket. Um, no cussing? Well, I, it wouldn't have surprised me if it leaked. I've, the, some of these things are, I've been in situations like this before and, and about the time you think you've got it all figured out, you figure out you don't have it all figured out. So I think it's gonna work. Um, it's only, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. I'll get you propped back up here. My battery's about to die on my phone. It's about 9.20, so it ain't even quite bedtime yet. Um, I'll let it run out. You guys can watch, I guess. 10.20 in Ohio. Tim, sorry to keep you up late. Dave and Dan, it's 10.30 there. All right. Well, I've probably still got about 20, 30 minutes, and I'm probably going to need to add some oil to the hydraulics. I lost a little bit, and I think it's a little bit low, but... I'm gonna get her loaded up on Little Red tonight. If the cameras, if my phone doesn't die, you can go with me on that trip, but we'll just have to see.
Looper. I'll tell you what, this video here is probably going to be a lot of good, useful, useful information for uh, some people wanting to weld on something. 
Tim has helped me out a bunch on this deal. Help to avoid end of travel. Well, now these cylinders, they have a cushion stop on them whenever you swing them over to the side, so they don't ever really bottom out fast. I think what gets them is just stress over time. I don't know, I could be wrong.